Welcome to the Nautilus Files. I've been getting a lot of requests to cover many of the strange and unusual things going on at Lumen in Severance Season 1. My videos are usually character studies, but who can resist a good theory video, am I right? Now when you're talking about theories, it's kind of like playing with fire. You might get burned. Actually, you're guaranteed to get burned. That said, we have enough info here to make some educated guesses, and I have no qualms about cannonballing like an eager lemur into the big pool of Severance theories. I regret nothing. Fair warning, this is a theory video. It is going to be chock full of spoilers. Now would be a good time to scram if you don't want to hear the details about the show. Okay, preamble complete, let's begin. I want to start this one with none other than the big boss lady of the Severed Floor, Harmony Kobol and her shrine. There are two episodes where we witness Miss Kobol's altar. The first time is in episode 6 where we see her prostrated before a shrine of her own making. There appears to be a collection of various articles and artifacts from her past inside the shrine. This scene is given to us as a teaser about her origins, but it's up to us to figure out the finer details. So what is Harmony trying to keep in memory? First off, the fact that she's praying to a shrine with a picture of Egan front and center tells us that she venerates Kier Egan as a deity of sorts, and the fact that she puts these other related items inside this shrine implies a connection between her belief and the events tied to said items. While she's in front of the shrine, she says, and I quote, Tame me in the tempers four, that I may serve thee evermore. Place in me the values nine, that I may feel your touch divine. Oh yeah, that's culty. There are various symbols related to the four tempers that Kira goes on about in the altar, such as the jester's mask and ram's head, further indications that she became a true believer in the teachings of Kira and seeks to rid herself of these human frailties. There are many references in these shots of the shrine, most notable being the breathing tube with the name Charlotte Coble on it, dated in the year 1944. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that Charlotte died in 1944, we can only say for certain that she was alive in 1944. Miss Coble is played by Patricia Arquette, who is 50 54 years old, so her character is probably meant to be close to that age in Severance. Far too young to have been born in 1944, or she would have been in her 70s today, assuming Severance takes place close to present day. This makes it more likely that this Charlotte Cobell person is an older family member that meant a lot to Harmony. The breathing tube implies that the person was ill or injured and was in a dire situation, requiring life support. Okay, now for the really fun stuff. The popular theory is that Charlotte is Harmony's mother, and Lumen had something to do with her mother being put on life support. Lumen could be involved in her being saved from whatever terrible thing happened, or possibly be responsible for it. Assuming she did die in 1944, and if Lumen is responsible for Charlotte's death, this makes Coble's goals at Lumen revolve around revenge. This theory is tied closely into the idea that Harmony is working against Lumen from the inside, quietly biding her time until she can achieve her goal. On the other hand, if Lumen did save Charlotte. This could be one of the reasons why she wants to work for Lumen, because she feels a sense of obligation to the company that has done so much for her. We can assume that Harmony attended the Myrtle Egan School for Girls and that her time there was influential judging by all the ribbons, certificates, and trophies. She must have been a high achiever and the Egans may have taken note of this and began to groom her for service within the organization. She still sleeps in a bedroom made up to look like she's in a boarding school and wears an old-timey gown while wearing her hair in pigtails. This could very well be Harmony's introduction into the Egan family and where she was indoctrinated into the cult and Charlotte's death, assuming it's her mother, might be the reason she ended up at the boarding school in the first place. This one takes a little more effort to get to, and it might feel like a stretch, but it's not completely implausible with a few tweaks. The idea here is that Charlotte Coble's personality was inserted into Harmony, making them one body with two entities, one being Miss Selvig, the other Harmony Coble. Oftentimes, Coble behaves like she's from another time, and this would make sense if the person in control at that time is Charlotte. In my character analysis of Coble, I pointed out how she describes her mother as being an atheist in one scene and a Catholic in another. What if she's telling the truth both times. <laughs> Harmony's mother was a Catholic and Charlotte's mother was an atheist, or vice versa. I don't remember right now, but you get the point. There are some problems with this one, in my opinion. While it is possible that there may have been iterations of the chip that existed before the one Jane brought home to show Helly when she was a wee little girl, it's hard to believe that they would have been able to accomplish severance in the 1940s. By any method, you would need a microchip, and those were not in use until the 1960s, let alone a transistor, which did not come around until the 1940s. So, Unless there was some other method of severing a person that we don't know about, I don't see this theory working. 
The last theory related to the shrine is that the shrine exists because Harmony wants to remember her past but can't because she was severed from it. The scenario goes something like this. What if Charlotte dies in the hospital under Lumen's care and an orphan Harmony attends the school for girls? Harmony is unable to cope with her mother's death, so she becomes a candidate for the earliest versions of Severance. She's severed to forget the pain of losing her mother. This would be a good reason for her to want to reintegrate her own ship, and it explains her obsession with Petey and Mark. Of course, this requires that she be severed for it to work, which I think is true. I think the name Harmony S that we see on the control board is Harmony Selvig, which might have been her married name. So, with all that said, I'm inclined to to think that the first theory is pretty strong and likely true. Charlotte is Harmony's mother, but they could all be wrong. We won't know for some time. Well, that's the fun with theory crafting, taking a guess and trying to prove it by putting the pieces together until something doesn't fit. There are a gang of theories related to who Charlotte's mother was and whether she had ties to the Egans, which we'll definitely get into soon. So what are your thoughts on the shrine and its meaning? Do you think these theories have legs or maybe you have your own idea of what's going on? I'd love to hear it. Look for more theory videos like this one to come, alongside the usual character analysis videos I do. Hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time, on you go.